In class 11th accounts today we are doing final accounts with formula method. So I am sure you all know about the final accounts which I already explained you that final accounts are classified in three parts that is trading account, profit and loss account and balance sheet. Trading and p and account uh, are prepared to know the profitability like trading account shows gross profit and gross loss. Okay, profit and loss account is prepared to know about the net profit or net loss and balance sheet is prepared to know the financial position, assets and liabilities of the business. So today I am going to explain you how to calculate profits by formula methods. Formats already I have given you, the details already you can see in the previous video. Then how to calculate GDP gross profit, how to calculate in your middle classes, you know about that one formula, P is equals to, P means profit is equals to selling price minus cost price. Do you know about it? In your primary or middle classes, you have learned about that profit is equals to selling price minus cost price. But for class 11, you will know about that GP means gross profit is equals to sales minus cost. Sales or in some books, in place of sales, they have given RFO, revenue from operation minus cogs. Cogs means cost of goods sold. Now the question is how to calculate sales? So sales is equal to, this is net sales, okay? So max sales is equal to sales minus sales return. Sales minus sales return. This is sales. Okay. So max sales is equal to max sales means sales minus return in word. Here the sales means cash sales plus credit sales. Cash sales plus credit sales. Okay, I will write it here. Cash sales plus credit sales minus sales return. This two will be added. Cash sales plus credit sales minus sales return. That will be net sales. The next question, how to calculate costs? Sales means goods sold by the business. So, see, cash sales plus credit sales, that will be total sales minus sales return, then it will be net sales. Okay, so now next is how to calculate costs. Costs means cost of goods sold. Cogs means cost of goods sold. Now how to calculate cogs? Very simple. Opening stock plus net purchases plus direct expenses minus closing stock. Again, how to calculate costs? Opening stock plus net purchase plus direct expenses minus closing stock. This is the formula for calculating costs. 
Another formula. See, in few books, cost of goods sold means cost price or the cost which uh, of the goods which is sold. Now the formula is opening stock. See, opening stock means opening inventory plus net purchases. What is the meaning of net purchases? Then again, I have a question. Net purchase is equal to, see, note down the formulas. Net purchase is equal to cash purchase plus credit purchase minus purchase return. Cash purchase means immediate payment made by cash or bank. Credit purchase means payment not made immediately. That will be in some future date. That is termed as credit purchase. Then purchase return means the goods which the businessman purchase now returning. That's why it is known as return outward. Okay, so do you understand what is about net purchase? Okay. Now closing stock means closing inventory. Now my question is what do you understand by direct expenses? So direct expenses are those expenses which are related with production directly which incurred in factory place which involves in manufacturing process so that's why direct expenses are those expenses which are related directly with the production okay like wages carriage inward coke coal power fuel coke coal power fuel or manufacturing production factory expenses manufacturing production or factory expenses children note down what do you understand by direct expenses direct expenses means wages carriage inward coke coal power fuel all those items which are required for manufacturing of the goods then manufacturing production or factory expenses i am sure you all will be able to understand these formulas now again see this is the basic formula. Gross profit is equal to sales minus cost. How to calculate net sales? Cash sales plus credit sales minus sales return. Okay. How to calculate costs? Opening stock plus net purchase plus direct expenses minus closing stock. Costs in full form. Yes, costs full form. Cost of goods sold, the net purchase, cash purchase plus credit purchase minus purchase return, the direct expenses means wages, carriage import, coke, coal, power, fuel, manufacturing, production of factory expenses. Now, more formulas I will give you with the help of this. Okay? So, look here. Another formula. 
so pause one more formula sales minus gp sales minus gp means cost of goods sold we can calculate with the help of sales and gp when we deduct gross profit from the sales we get find out cost of goods sold but the sales should be net sales and gp gross profit now next formula sales how to calculate sales yes please how to calculate sales simple cost plus gp So note down these formulas one by one. This is the basic formula. With the help of this formula, we write this formula that profit means gross profit is equals to sales minus cost of goods sold. Okay. Then how to calculate cost? One easy formula is sales minus GP. How to calculate sales? Simple. Cox plus GP. Cox plus GP. Net sales, cash sales, credit sales should be added and sales return should be subtracted. Then we can find out the net sales. Then cost, cost of goods sold, simple formula, opening stock plus net purchase plus direct expenses minus closing stock. This is closing stock. Okay, I am writing again. Closing stock. In place of that stock word, in few books, Inventory word given, you should write the same inventory means the goods lie in the stock. The net purchase, cash purchase plus credit purchase minus purchase return. This will be termed as net purchase. Direct expenses means those expenses which are related with the factory manufacturing process. Production expenses because for calculation of gross profit we have to make trading account and trading account includes only a direct expenses. Direct expenses are wages, carriage inward, freight inward, inward means those carriage or transportation which are related with purchase, then coal, coal, power, fuel, electricity which is related with the factory. That's why in simple term, that is manufacturing expenses, production expenses, factory expenses are to be included here. Now the question arises in your mind, why the wages include? Why not salary? So my dear children, wages and salaries are entirely different terms. Wages related with the skilled work, related with the manufacturing, production and factory premises, Okay, and wages included in trading account. Now salary. Salary is generally given for official work, for sales and distribution. And salary incurred after the calculation of gross profit, after the factory work is over. Okay. So Salary include in PNL account. So I am sure you got all the formulas. Then, with the help of this formula by transposing, we can find out which formulas also. Cost is equals to sales minus cost profit. 
And if you want to know about shapes, then box plus G. Okay. Now, what I want to do? That simply you have to put values in the formulas. You will get the answer easy. Okay. Yes. First question. Yes, please. Calculate gross profit if, please note down, calculate gross profit if sales is equal to 2 lakh and cost is equal to 1 lakh 70,000. Yes, what will be your answer? Calculate gross profit if sales is equal to 2 lakh and cost is equal to 1 lakh 70,000. Simply which formula we have to use? This one. Okay. So put the value in the formula 2 lakh minus 1 lakh 70,000. That will be 30,000. Answer. Note down 30,000 answer. This is first question. Sales given, calls given. How to calculate gross profit? Simply the formula of gross profit is sales minus cost of goods sold. Now change this question. Okay. If this is first question, Am I audible? Now, second question. Calculate gross profit or gross loss. Calculate gross profit or gross loss if sales is one lakh fifty thousand and cause is one lakh fifty thousand. See here, sales is one lakh twenty thousand and cause is one lakh fifty thousand. Now, please don't change the formula. Formula will be same. GP is equal to Sales minus cost. So here sales is one lakh twenty, but cost is one lakh fifty. That will be negative thirty thousand. So you can write T L gross loss thirty thousand. Gross loss thirty thousand. Why we can write this gross loss? Because GP is negative. If GP is negative, how we can write it as profit? The negative term will be known as loss. Okay? So in accounts, please don't change the formula. Because initially you don't know that there will be profit or loss. So you have to use the same formula. Otherwise there will be confusion. So same formula. Sales minus cost. Sales is one lakh twenty. Cost is one lakh fifty. There is negative item for thirty thousand, which is termed as gross loss. Clear? Got it? So this is the case of profit. This is the case of loss. Now I am giving you the question. Calculate cost. Please note down. Calculate cost if sales is one lakh and GP is twenty thousand. If sales is one lakh and GP is twenty thousand. Yes, Rishiraj, will you give the answer? What is the value of cost 
it says is one lakh and GP is twenty thousand. Now we have eighty thousand. This formula sales and GP. Your answer will be eighty thousand. How eighty thousand? Because one lakh minus twenty thousand. So this. Now I am changing the pattern. Note down. Calculate cogs and cogs and GP. If opening stock is opening stock is one thousand. Opening stock is one thousand. Purchase is twelve thousand. And closing stock is two thousand. Closing stock is two thousand. And sales is twenty thousand. Sales is twenty thousand. In this question, we will use two formulas. First formula is for cogs and second formula is for GP. Clear, my dear children. First formula because in this question cogs is not given, so first we have to calculate cogs. Formula opening stock plus purchase plus direct expenses minus closing stock. In this question, direct expense is not given, so don't worry. Okay, just add opening stock plus purchase minus closing stock. That will be eleven thousand. Okay, eleven thousand. Now this eleven thousand, you will take this side. Why we are using this formula? Because sales given, cost given, so we can calculate GP easily. So sales is twenty thousand. GP is eleven thousand. So our answer is nine thousand. So in this question. You will come to know about the box, about the GP. Okay. So if in the question box not given, first you have to calculate box. Then you will put this amount in this formula to know the GP. Now I'm sure. Okay. Now please note down the homework question. You have to practice this. If please note down. If cost is twelve thousand. And gross profit is three thousand. Calculate the amount of sales. Calculate the amount of sales. Now, next question. Calculate costs if sales is. Five thousand, but loss is of rupees one thousand. Gross loss is of rupees one thousand. We can change the formula, but 
gross loss is 1000 question number 3 calculate cobs and gp if opening stock is 1 lakh purchase are 1 lakh 40000 Purchase return twenty thousand. Closing stock twenty thousand. And sales is of two lakh. Sales is of two lakh rupees. So these three homework questions you will do and we will discuss these questions. We will discuss the answers of these questions in the next class. And if you have any doubt, you can ask related with these formulas. So you have to learn these formulas, then you will be able to do these numericals. See it in the question. Prepare a trading account, then you have to prepare a trading account. Otherwise, if it is given use formula, you have to show with the formula.